Joining us now exclusively is Adobe's chairman and CEO, Shantanu Narayan. Shantanu, good morning. Good morning, John. Thanks for having me on your show. Always great to have you, especially after we got some numbers uh, after earnings. So um, I know you're going to tell us a bit about the quarter, but mix in there. T tell me about global demand in, in the chips and hardware. We've seen impact from a global trade tensions. Are you seeing any impact on customers' willingness to spend on your software and services? When you think about Adobe, John, uh, I think we're in two absolutely sweet spots. Uh, on the individual side, it's absolutely the golden age of creativity. Everybody has a story to tell, and Creative Cloud is absolutely the one-stop shop that allows people to express themselves. And on the enterprise side, the imperative around digital transformation is front and center. And given we have the best software to enable people to engage with their customers, uh, we continue to think that these are going to be front and center in terms of technology spend. So any impact from the economic uncertainty? Uh, thus far, we've continued to see the momentum uh, that we saw in the first quarter. We continue to believe that uh, you know, as long as digital remains front and center, Adobe will continue to do really well. Uh, tell us about this Q2 guide. I understand that, you know, covering you guys a long time, you're not going to raise your full year outlook uh, at, at this stage. Uh, during you know Q2 report, but uh, what are you seeing that caused you to maybe weight things a little bit more toward this summer seasonality and be conservative in the guidance for Q3? Well, John, uh, we've had a great track record uh, at Max. As you know, we typically give color for the next year. Uh, we uh, updated that in March as a result of what happened with the move towards Section 606. Uh, but from our point of view, uh, we typically do not update our annual guidance at this time. We'll give more color in September uh, for the Q4 quarter, as well as at max give guidance uh, for 2020. But as it relates to the fundamental business, when you think about digital media, ARR, and the entire creative space, uh, we had a very strong quarter, over 400 million of ARR net new in uh, Q2, which is a record for Q2. If you look at our targets for Q3, again, in creative, uh, they would be a record. 360 million is what we guided to in Q3. And so we uh, believe that the momentum associated with everything that we're doing in the video space, everything that we're doing as it relates to uh, what's happening for new platforms like YouTube uh, continues to propel the business. Uh, great products like Spark, which are available for the education segment, also continue to see demand. On the Acrobat side, the move from paper to digital continues unabated. Uh, we think we have the best products in terms of uh, creating PDF for the mobile era. And then on the enterprise side, we grew the business 34% year over year on our revenue. We've done a good job right. of integrating Marketo and Magento. Uh, you, speaking of platforms, you said on the call, and I quote, previously we used to look at print and web as a platform. Now we even look at channels like YouTube as a platform. Get a little granular, if you will. Give me some color on how that changes the way you either work features, you gather data to figure out how Adobe can gain share on a platform like YouTube. Well, this fundamental notion that drives us, John, in terms of uh, the belief that everybody has a story to tell, we want to make sure that our tools and our services enable them to tell that story, taking full advantage of whatever medium they want to display that on. Mobile devices are different from how YouTube is, which is different clearly from what's going to happen with augmented reality and virtual reality. The presence of digital in a car is so different from what you might see in retail. And so we've been really rethinking how we deliver applications uh, to make sure that we take significant advantage of the medium in which they're being uh, consumed, as well as the medium on which it's being created. When you think about how people are creating this content, uh, you know, the fact that they are doing it increasingly on mobile devices and on tablets, thinking about touch, thinking about voice modalities, and it really provides our product teams with this amazing canvas on which they can innovate. 
Hey, Sean Tenor, I hate, to, I hate to ask you something not strictly related to the quarter uh, or your guidance, but this issue of deep fakes came up uh, last week at the Code Conference and has got a lot of people's attention. Uh, is industry starting to think about solutions uh, that will minimize the impact of these things and the way they might be intended to fool people around the world? Yeah, I think what we are thinking about as it relates to uh, that entire space is there's a responsibility that exists between the content creator, the technology provider of tools such as Adobe, as well as the people who are distributing that content. And uh, we have spent a lot of time in research uh, ensuring that we can unequivocally tell you when content has been altered. Uh, but I think you know a three-way partnership between somebody who creates that content and then either digitally signs it or declares it to be authentic, and then the distributor of that content who can leverage tools from companies like Adobe uh, to determine its authenticity is going to be required to make sure that that entire workflow, all the way from content creation to content distribution, can be done in a way in which fakes are not you know, the order of the day. So we play a role, we've posted a blog on that in terms of what we are doing with artificial intelligence uh, to truly determine whether that content has been altered or not. And we take this extremely seriously. Sean Tenu, it's Morgan. I just want to get your thoughts on pricing and how you're thinking about, I guess, how you're balancing demand and the ability to continue bringing on more customers versus the ability to continually increase prices for your services. Morgan, since the time we've actually introduced Creative Cloud, our number one focus has been uh, value and getting more people onto the platform. You have products like Spark uh, that are available in a ubiquitous way. Certainly when we introduced five new products, we looked at the pricing, but our number one focus is actually getting new people to the platform, and that's what's driving it. It's new customer acquisition, uh, it's enterprise seat adoption, it's international expansion that's really driving uh, the growth that we see. A lot of people talk about STEM and the importance of STEM, at Adobe, we love to talk about STEAM and the importance of arts, and that's really the mission that drives us as a company. And finally, Shantanu, when you first expanded into digital marketing, a lot of people doubted Adobe, not so many doubters around now. Now it's Experience Cloud. You're going head to head with Salesforce, among others. Uh, give us your sense of what characteristics Adobe is going to have to grow internally or enhance to win in the experience space? Well, let's start, John, with consumers like us. And consumers like us are absolutely requiring that any enterprise that we interact with, that that, that experience be personalized, that experience be engaging, and that experience be digital first. Adobe is the absolute leader in content management. We're the leader in being able to create these mobile applications. And the amount of data that we're processing on behalf of our customers, and we've drawn the line in the sand, it's actually the enterprises that own that data. That is such a technology as well as data moat that exists for Adobe. As long as we can continue to make sure that we enable our enterprises to deliver that engaging experience, uh, to use artificial intelligence uh, with all of the data that we're collecting on their behalf, the first party data, I think we'll just continue to be great. And the opportunity is so large as it relates to digital transformation. It's not going to be a one company wins it all, but we love the position we're in with a clear leader. And as you pointed out, we were the creators of both the digital marketing category and now an even larger category that we call customer experience management. Uh, it is certainly an important one for investors to continue to watch. Shantanu Ryan, CEO of Adobe, joining us there from headquarters. Thanks for being with us. In the